Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run a frame rate counter on any game on the Windows operating system. So this is going to be especially useful if you can't run the traditional frame rate counter tools. For example, the Steam overlay or the Origin overlay or something like MSI Afterburner or something like Fraps. If those are not compatible with your current system, then Reshade is a great alternative. However, on Windows 11 ARM, it's not possible to run many of these tools. However, Reshade is a great alternative that works with virtually every game. So I'm going to show you how this works. What we're going to do is to go to the reshade.me website. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. And all we need to do is to do a download of this. So I'm going to download this now. And I'm going to click here, download reshade 4.9.1, which is the latest at the time of recording. So once that's downloaded, I'm going to go to my downloads folder. And then we're going to double click on reshade setup. So we've given this menu here. And it's going to ask us whether we want to select a game and manage its reshade installation, or we want to enable or disable Vulkan globally. Basically, we want to use this option here. This is so that we can specify exactly which game we want to show the frame rate for. So I'm going to click here now. Basically, here it's detected all of the games that have been installed on the computer. This is basically all of the Steam games that have been added. And what you wanted to be able to do is to select one of these games. So I'm not going to select one of these at the moment. What I'm going to do is to select one of the GOG games that I've downloaded in my Windows folder on my desktop. So here I'm going to click on the Browse button on Reshade. Then I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to go to my Windows Games folder. And then we're going to do Inscription. So Inscription is a Unity game. It does not have an inbuilt frame rate counter. It would be possible to get this working by adding this as a Steam game and using the Steam overlay. However, I'm going to show you the Reshade method, which works on virtually every game. So here we're going to double click on Inscription. And here it's asking us what rendering API does Inscription use. So the graphics rendering API is quite easy to check. What we need to do is type in the name of the game. So this is Inscription. And we type in PCGW. So this is PC Gaming Wiki. I'm going to check the API section here. So we're going to go to the Inscription article. And then what we're going to do is to basically scroll down until we get to the API section here. And what it says here is that the API is DirectX 11. So this is the API number that we need. So we have the choice here of DirectX 9. 10, 11, 12, OpenGL or Vulkan. So this particular game is a DirectX 11 game, so we're going to select that button there. So here what we're going to do is to uncheck, because we don't actually want to use any of the shader options here. We want to uncheck all of them. So here we're going to press uncheck all, and then Sweet Effects will not be loaded, or any other shader option too. I don't want to interfere with that, I want to do some performance testing. Well, so once I've unchecked all, I'm going to press OK. Now I can click the Edit Reshade Settings. So here we have a bunch of options. The most important one that we want is this one called Show FPS. And ideally as well, we also want to skip tutorial. So this is something that will appear on the screen, which will try to teach you how to use Reshade. We don't need this. We just want to show the frame rate counter. Here, I'm going to press OK, and then I can quit out of this. Now I want to actually run my game. I'm going to go to my inscription folder, and I'm going to run my GOG version of the game. So as you can see, on the top right-hand side of the screen, we have the frame rate counter, and this is provided by Reshade. So this is going to show on the screen, even though this game does not have a native frame rate counter, and we don't have any overlays running either. So this can basically be applied to any game. What I'm going to do is to quit now and just to show you how to uninstall this. So basically Reshade is now attached to this exe file. However, you might actually want to uninstall it from this game. So to uninstall it, all we need to do is to open up and run Reshade again. So here we're going to click and select a game and manage its Reshade installation and click that. And if it's not in this list, we're going to go and browse again and we're going to find the inscription exe or any other game exe we have already installed it on. We're going to select the rendering API and then we have the option here to update or uninstall. So here I'm going to click uninstall. Now it's successfully uninstalled, so that frame rate counter will no longer be showing up. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I have lots of other useful gaming tutorial videos on my channel. So if you found this video useful, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.